Hello and welcome back. It's been a little while, but I have a news. So as you can see, the car behind me is the car that I've been wanting to show you guys for quite some time now. I've had, well, I've had this car for a little while. I have not seen it up until about a week ago. So it's still very new to me. I've had it for about a couple of months uh, before my arrival into Cairo. That's where I am. There isn't anything significant or historical behind me. So uh, no pyramids just yet. However, I am here for work. I've had to relocate temporarily for work. I've got work projects and things going on in Cairo. So I'm gonna have to be based back and forth between Cairo and London. So this is why I have this beautiful beast behind me. It's not beautiful just yet, but it will be hopefully, well, hopefully in the, over the next few months as we try and tackle uh, quite significant jobs on the car to try and bring it back to um, factory spec as much as possible so let me talk you and walk you through it as we have a look um, all right so let me just get the story out of the way quickly i uh, literally i've been in love with this uh, with the g-wagon especially the coupe the three-door version for as long as i can remember it's got such character it's got such presence but especially the coupe it's just for me, it's just something so different, unique. You don't really see them about very much. And especially in Egypt, I, um, in all my years being back and forth in the country, I've never seen one before. And now, as far as I know, there's about maybe four in total in the whole country. You're talking about a country of 100 million people. I'm talking specifically the three door, the coupe version. There's of course a few more from the four doors, However, they're not very popular cars. So this is very unique. And the way it came about was very coincidental, a very sort of uh, spur of the moment type of thing. My brother was walking sort of home one day and spotted the car parked, literally called me on FaceTime with the camera on the car. I saw it and literally took five seconds and I said, don't leave until you have that car in your possession. And uh, so the preceding few hours, speaking to the owner we managed to find him and speak to him and uh yeah we literally made the deal right there and then the same night uh, it was dark you couldn't really see the car but i knew regardless of what whatever things were hidden in the car i knew i wanted it i wanted to make sure for me because because of the climate in egypt i know rust wasn't an issue and that was the biggest thing for me as long as the body is as straight as possible and there's no rust issues everything else can be fixed it's all sort of cosmetics um, there's a lot more wrong with the car um, but for the main part it's it's pretty straight um, and that's and that was all I needed to know so we made the deal right there and then and it's been in my possession for the last couple of months I've obviously just seen it uh, this past week I've been trying to film it and bring it to you guys this past week but it's been almost impossible it's so busy as you can see I'm in a sort of a crowded area there's a lot of cars that tried to shoot it near the airport at one point but we got chased away so yeah so finally I'm bringing it to you guys and uh, this is how it looks there's gonna be a lot of changes so this is a 280 G class 280 it's a uh, proper vintage it's a 1984 reg and um, yeah it's, it was originally uh, brought in uh, by the uh, German embassy into Egypt and uh, then sold on um, to somebody and then eventually made its way to the uh, buyer, the person who had it, uh, before I got it off of him. And during that time, it spent a lot of years literally just in dust, uh, a lot of damage, just dying and withering away. So, um, so yeah, the, the previous buyer before me had done some work to it and tweaks and sort of some paint job. It's abysmal. However, I plan to do a lot more. It's currently got a 280 engine, petrol engine with carburetors. Um, I originally intended to fix it up, but it's been a nightmare to try and find parts. And this carburetor engine has just been giving me a hell of a lot to deal with. It's a nightmare. Um, yeah, and it's bringing up a lot of fumes. It's just really not a good daily. And that's the whole point of this car. I wanted a, a nice daily car while I'm in Egypt. And um, the significance of this, and as to people might be asking why I didn't just buy a better example from this abroad and ship it to Egypt is because 
because of the way the regulations are you're only allowed to use the car for three or six months of the year which obviously isn't good enough for me i wanted something um long term whereas my porsche I'm, I'm actually thinking of shipping that here will only be used uh for three to six months so i wanted something you know to fill the gap and something pretty much long term and something that if i wanted to sell on uh before i move back to london then i can easily without having without having to worry but the idea is to fix this keep this long term and actually ship it back with me to london um so yeah so what's gonna happen is actually quite a lot as you can see it's um it's meant to be black but it's a very faded, it's a very, very bad paint job. As you can see, it's quite dirty. I did get these uh, Barabbas wheels off of the owner as well. And um, they're 18, actually, yeah, 18 inch wheels. I kind of like them. Um, obviously, they're black right now, but I'm, I'm gonna bring them back, I think, to silver. Uh, once the whole paint job is done before that we're gonna tackle the mechanical issues with the car there's a lot let me show you it as well inside it's um well it's a complete so let's not well i've got a lot of vision for the car so don't judge it just yet it's a complete banger i'll admit that but um i'm excited and i love the fact that it's a project i probably chew more than i can well, I probably bitten more than I can chew, but it is what it is. It's done now and we have to deal with it. So the interior is gonna completely be sort of renovated in the sense that um, it's all gonna be kitted out in leather. Everything is gonna change. The seats, I'm upgrading the seats to something a little more comfortable. Uh, these are all period and uh, sort of factory spec. Um, that the dashboard is, is seen better days so that's gonna be retrimmed and, and sort of fixed up with a lot of the broken parts here and there but I'm planning on keeping it sort of as original as possible I like the aesthetic I like the look of things as they are and um, yeah so I'm just gonna retrim everything in, in sort of I've already ordered sort of the best merino leather and uh, suede headlining everything we're gonna get a proper bench seat and the seats are gonna be upgraded to something a lot more comfortable and uh, of course the carpets and everything but this is the last thing I'm, I'm gonna do um, before that we're gonna tackle some of the big jobs first so before that we're gonna tackle the engine i've actually got plans to upgrade the engine to something a lot more usable something a lot more new this is an 84 car with the same engine so it's seen better days it's been treated horribly it doesn't drive well at all and it sounds like a tractor um so it's really beyond uh saving and uh, i just think from my peace of mind and for 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 the use that i want to do and sort of how i intend to use the car and on a daily basis i need something a lot more comfortable a lot more reliable and i'm gonna fit um, a 320 an engine 320 engine mercedes uh the car actually came later with a 320 variant so i'm gonna get fit that engine along with the uh gearbox and um differential uh, sort of differential as well to make sure everything is running perfectly the electronics are going to be upgraded and so on and so forth uh, to make sure that we don't have any issues um, on a day-to-day -day, which i'm really excited about because i think it's going to make the world of a difference so yeah i've got three options or actually four options in terms of colors i'll discuss that with you guys because i probably need your help in deciding what color to go for i'm in between two minds so we'll discuss this in a different uh, episode and then you guys can vote and decide and let me know but i sort of either want to keep it uh black of course everything was going to be stripped back to bare metal and resprayed redone so either black a shade of green um i'm also considering uh, there's a um, sort of another original color to mercedes uh, like a berry dark red uh, and or um, also the car actually came many years ago i'm trying to think what reg but it came in a nice sort of aubergine purpley color which i think would be really nice so those four colors are the ones i'm considering but again we'll discuss that in more in details and we can decide um when the time is closer so first we're going to tackle the engine let me quickly show you the engine this is the engine as it is 
I mean, it's I mean, it, it's seen better days. Of course, everything is gonna get redone. Uh, I mean, yeah, this is worse for wear, but this is the engine. This is a very reliable engine. Uh, had it been serviced and maintained properly over the years, unfortunately, it isn't. So um, it's it's really yeah, it's uh, it's not in a good state. But I love to see these sort of uh, period engines. They're such workhorses, uh, but unfortunately. It's sort of beyond my scope of uh, repair and uh, I'd rather spend the money uh, on a new engine that's going to give me a lot less headache, hopefully. So yeah, this is as far as the front is concerned. Moving on. Yeah, of course, everything is we're going to get a lot of new parts like the fenders, um, side exhausts are going to get changed a lot, a lot, um, a lot of the trim work here a lot of the rubber it's still got the iconic sort of door it's such a tank and uh, yeah so this is the interior as it is I love the fact that it's a coupe you actually sit here slightly higher and it's rather comfortable I like this there's a lot of room there's a lot of headroom as well you're never short of space it feels really nice sitting back here and uh, yeah I just love it I think it's great um, but yeah, so it's a very period, very minimalistic, minimalistic um, dashboard. As you can see, there's hardly anything. It's got an um, automatic gearbox. But yeah, there's going to be a lot of changes to this, retrimmed, make sure it's all perfect and nice and clean. That's the main thing. And a lot of these door cards are going to be fixed as well. Uh, new carpets and everything installed. This is the fun part. Uh, but before that, we're going to tackle all the hard jobs first and um yeah but i you know i'm so excited for this i've always wanted a g-wagon and uh let me tell you well let's discuss some numbers because you're probably gonna think i'm crazy and maybe i am uh, i spent around fifteen thousand pounds buying this car uh which now i think probably was a a lot of money but you have to bear in mind there's literally not even a handful of these g-wagon coupes in the whole of the country and these are sort of registered in the country so this is not a, an import this is a straight up sort of registered car um, and that's a massive thing um, you cannot get another car um, like that uh, from abroad you simply wouldn't be able to pay the duties the taxes it's just not possible nowadays and of course Mercedes don't do G-Wagons uh, two, two door three door virgins it's only four doors now um, so yeah when I saw this car I just thought I had to get it I had to get it so it's probably gonna need spending another 15 grand on top of that I'm hoping it will be less than that but uh, yeah so all in all it's gonna cost quite a lot of money but we are in it now and I'll tell you what funnily enough I've been stopped so many times over the last week literally people stopping me wanting to buy the car paying me like a, lo a lot actually a lot more than I paid for it already in this state as it is um, so but I don't want to sell it I actually want to keep it do it up and uh, I think it's gonna look absolutely great once it's done I'm so excited this is essentially my first ever project car and it's a g-wagon um, and I just love this two-door version I just think it's so unique it's got so much character just look at it you know it's the also the owner actually had upgraded the front a little bit I forgot to mention that upgrade the the grills the lights uh, originally the 804s look a little different with a, a side uh, with the more slanted sides so he's sort of slightly upgraded it but we're gonna change that we're gonna fit new uh, headlights from the front as well we're gonna put the absolutely brand new ones with the LEDs and everything like that um, but yeah it's just so cool I love those sort of side indicators they're so iconic of the G-Wagon and um, it doesn't have a sunroof but it's so big i mean there's so much space inside the cabin you really don't miss it you don't need one um we're gonna also overhaul the whole front axles the back axles differentials and everything also because the car needs to be able to handle the new power uh, that will be fitted into it 
the only thing that was done uh, a few weeks ago actually before my, I arrived were the brakes they were completely shot so uh, we had a mechanic uh, do the whole brakes and introduce servo and everything so it actually stops really well but that's the only thing it does um, properly everything else is a disaster it actually it keeps stalling and uh, it stopped the other day with us in the middle of a um, traffic jam and we had to be pushed uh, by a 4x4 sort of uh, tractor so it was rather embarrassing we caused a lot of traffic but this is the sort of uh, nightmare that this engine is causing so we really want to fix it and sort it out ASAP and um, yeah so what do you guys think it's an interesting one right but I absolutely love it like I said this is this was literally um, bought sight unseen i had just seen it over the phone with my brother and i just said no matter what you do don't leave without getting the car um so yeah it was it was a crazy move and uh i don't know how i feel just yet uh, i'm committed of course right now and um yeah i think it'll come out really well but a lot of the struggle is going to come from sourcing the parts which is a nightmare in this country um, and that's why we're sort of limited as to what we can do what we can upgrade and things like that and finding the right sort of um, experienced mechanics and garages that are able to tackle this type of job even though it's not necessarily so complicated but um, but yeah it's just finding the right people and um, yeah sourcing the uh, parts as well everything has to come internationally and paying taxes on it it's not the easiest job in the world um, so we're gonna have to be creative and um, yeah I'm looking forward to it and I'm just so excited I think it's gonna look fantastic and uh, it's gonna be a journey so uh, hopefully yeah hopefully you guys enjoy it stick around and uh, just let me know what you guys think if I've done the right thing if I should keep going and um, Actually, at this point, I have no choice. I am gonna keep going because I just figured, what else am I gonna get for the money? Um, you know, for the money that I spent on this, you know, I'm probably, I probably won't be able to afford. I mean, it's 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 probably the same as any of these cars. Uh, obviously, it's, it's it's a bit more, but you know, I figured instead of driving a honda or a whatever a mitsubishi or whatever for the same money, I'd rather drive something that is unique, just different and just you don't see any other on the road from them so for me that just had to be done and um, yeah so finally here it is the car I've been waiting to unveil and um, my 1984 G-Wagon coupe I love it it looks great in black and so many times I think maybe I'll just repaint it make it look spank spanking in black but I just thought if I'm gonna go through the hassle of uh, stripping the car and repainting it, maybe I should do a more interesting, more exciting color. But we'll decide that at a later stage. And um, yeah, I'm excited about this one. All right, thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and just let me know what you guys think. I appreciate the support thus far and um, there's going to be a lot more content coming with this and a few other surprises. So stick around and I'll see you again very soon.